हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर फाइन एंड डूइंग वेल सो टुडे आई विल डिस्कस टेलीकॉम साइट इक्विपमेंट ओवरव्यू इन दिस टेलीकॉम साइट इक्विपमेंट ओवरव्यू यू विल लर्न हाउ ए सेल साइट इक्विपमेंट वर्क्स एंड हाउ ए सेल साइट इज कनेक्टेड विद एन अदर साइट विद द हेल्प ऑफ टेली कम्युनिकेशन इक्विपमेंट सो I added a detail of telecom site equipment in this series like BTS, BBU, RRU, RF antenna, micro wave antenna, and and the start from the BTS, which is base transceiver station, and the BBU, which is a part of BTS, and BTS is basically is used to transmit and receive the signal from BSC and MSC as it connects both BSC and MSC and the radio remote unit in is the network interface between the RF antenna and base band unit as it supports the connectivity via BBU and RF antenna so the function of RF antenna is to radiate the signals so that uh, the user works on the base of mobile frequencies like 900 megahertz and 1800 megahertz and uh, the next one is the power rectifier which is used to power up the baseband unit and the second one is the rf modules which are the capacity modules and these are installed in this baseband unit and it support the frequencies and the bandwidth like if we are supporting the 2g technology that rru is using the same sfp module in which the bbu has been used like for 2g we have installed 2.5g and in bbu and in rru the same rf sfp module will work to support the baseband frequencies next one is the type of fiber optic cable and we know that in a fiber optic cable the data travel in the speed of light like in sfp module which is giving the connectivity to fiber optic cable from the bbu and the next one to the rru the main function of sfp is to convert electrical signal into light signal to make it possible so that one from the one side the signal is going to the other side from transmitter to the receiver end now check this overview of a bbu diagram with rru rru is connected in bbu with capacity card and that green wire shows the fiber optic cable connectivity as rru transmit rf signal and it is connected with bbu as i told you earlier with rf antenna through fiber optic cables and the jumper wire and it converts the rf signal into the data and data into the light signal vice versa look at this the antenna and the rru and the bbu these three parts are interconnected with each other the baseband unit is giving connectivity to the rru with the help of the fiber optic cable and from the rru the jumper wire goes into the antenna which is giving connectivity between rru and antenna so that rf so that antenna can radiate the signal and the mobile users can achieve that type of services like sms mms or the data whatever that bbu is a complete demonstration of a site that three sectors are installed and it is giving connectivity to multiple bts in a cell site and the next one is the software demonstration of radio remote unit connected with the help of fiber optic cables and that dotted line shows that rru is connected with the antenna so you can check from this software zt lmt which is being used in a particular zt vendor and it is connected like this 
this one is the RF antenna and that one is the RRU and between RRU and antenna we are giving connectivity with the help of jumper wires so that jumper wire is necessary to enable the communication between the RF antenna and radio remote unit they are usually a radio transmitter and the receiver one end is transmitter and the next one is the receiver as one port of the antenna support the transmitting signal and the other port supports the receiving signal as well and in dual mode it can support both transmitting and receiving signal at the same time RRU connective with antenna via jumpers I told you the earlier the connectivity from port to port one from the transmitter and one port is transmitting and the other is saving and the third port is using the RET connections as well and from the right side of the RRU we are connecting the power cable to power up this device so that it can radiate the radio waves and the RF signal and it converts the RF signal and process it to the RF antenna and next one is the microwave which is a high form of frequency transmission and it provides the radio signals in gigahertz frequencies and it is based on the line of sight transmission as well in which both Microwaves are connected from end to end and one side is behaving as a transmitter the end, other end is a receiver and both are connected at the same height to provide the transmission via air interface as well. So usually a power rectifier and battery bank is used for energy backup. And power rectifier we know that it converts AC current AC into DC and the type of Huawei rectifier is R4850 G2 rectifier module and it is giving the capacity minus 54 volt DC and plus cable is used for black and minus is used for the negative one blue cable will connect the circuit breaker and that black cable is connected with bus bar to support the neutral voltage and minus is for phase voltage as well that BBU with the help of CPRI or fiber optic cable is giving connectivity to capacity card and that capacity card is connected with the help of SFP inside the RRU like this one that RRU is connected with the help of fiber optic cable on the both side SFP modules with capacity card as well so this one is the SFP which is used to convert light signal into electric signal and electric signal into light signal and is connected with the help of fiber optic cable as well SAP has a wide range of applications as we are using it in cell sites and the data centers for the data communication purposes so I think this introduction is enough for you to understand this basic concept of telecom site equipment overview if you have any question related to site equipment you can ask me in comments and don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel and thanks for your kind support with the help of my subscriber my channel is growing day by day and i hope so for the next days i will provide more knowledge about the telecommunication and give you the best training and the best output thank you so much